Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2022 Hyundai Tucson. And we're gonna do the headlight tint installation for this vehicle. So this is how it looks before the installation. And this is how it looks after the installation. So the tint has PPF properties, which means it will protect the lenses from yellowing over time, as well as protect it from any small scratches or any road debris that might hit the lenses. If you like the product, link for the product will be down in the description below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So the tools you need in order to install the tint kit will be slip solution, tack solution, a heat gun, a squeegee, and a microfiber towel. And a step-by-step -step guide in order to create the two solutions will be in the description below. So before starting the installation, we want to make sure we prep the lenses. So apply slip solution, and then with the clean microfiber towel, just make sure you remove any contaminants that each lens might have. So when you get your kit, it's going to be aligned like this. So just make sure you match the pieces. So all four pieces are gonna be separate, which will be for this side. And then the remaining three will be for this section here. And of course, this one for the fog light right here. We're gonna start off with the reflector here. So just apply slip solution and align it right on the edge here. And you are gonna to need to stretch the film just a bit in order to reach the other edge here. So just apply tack solution. So that way this side can start tacking down and make sure everything's aligned and just tack this section down. And then once you have this section tacked down, just stretch the film just a bit to meet this edge here and to meet this other edge here. So it should be like that and then start tacking down as well. Okay, and that's it for this one. And now we move on with the lower section here. So for this lower section, I recommend applying tack solution and then slip so that way we're able to move the film around but at the same time that he still starts activating because it is such a narrow area to work with here we only have so much we can squeegee down so just make sure to apply tack solution and slip to work around this area and then for the film just apply slip tuck it in inside make sure you align it on this edge and make sure you're giving yourself enough room to cover as well so as you can see, it is just a small area to work with, so you have to align it perfectly. And now just apply tack solution on top of the film. And then you could hold it with one finger and then try to squeegee out the solution with the other finger. If your squeegee fits inside, you could use your squeegee as well. So just hold it in place and tack it down. And just keep applying tack solution so that way the adhesive on the film activates faster. Also one thing that can help the adhesive activate is applying heat. So just hold it in place like this and start applying heat. And that should help the adhesive on the film start activating faster. So for right now, we'll let it dry and move on with the next installation. It's the same procedure, just apply slip solution and align it right on this edge. So when it comes to the tint pre-cuts for the headlights, it is made only to cover the front side of the headlight. Unfortunately, it's not going to cover the top piece because it does curve and it's only a small area to work around with when you're trying to tuck in. So we made it to where it only covers the front piece. So make sure it's just aligned and start tacking it down. So hold it in position, grab your squeegee and start tagging it down. Make sure this is secured, that way we're able to move the film here and stretch it until we meet it up to the edge here before it does the curve. So make sure it's aligned, stretch, hold it in position and start tacking it down. So like I said, it's only going to cover the front piece because the film is going to have a hard time tacking down on the curved areas because there's only a little room to work around. So we just made it to where it'll tack down and the film won't start peeling. So just hold it in place to help the adhesive activate faster. Apply tack solution and with heat go all around so we can start helping the adhesive activate. Once you have it in position, you can just continue applying heat and then with your microfiber towel, help it tack down. And you would just basically do the same steps we did for this one to the remaining four. So it's just rinse and repeating, aligning from this side first and then tacking down and just stretching a little bit up to meet the edge before it does the curve. So 
So for this last piece, because it is a small piece to work with, you can do the dry installation method, but just make sure if you do the dry installation method, you remove any air bubble that's behind the film. So you wanna get it as perfect as possible the first time. So just align it right on the edge, make sure you have it there. And then as you're installing it, go section by section to remove any air that's behind the film. And then just meet it up to the edge here and start tacking it down. But you have to make sure you don't have any air bubbles behind the film. And then just to help it secure, apply heat so that way the film tacks down. So for this last piece here, we are gonna start by applying slip solution and aligning it to this side of the lens first. So once you apply slip solution, start aligning it to this edge first. So around there, make sure you have enough material that's covering this edge. And you might need to stretch the film up and down that way you have coverage on the top and on the bottom. So let's cover here, start tacking this side down. So hold it in position and tack it down. If it moves, bring it back in. And then do the same with the top piece, so make sure you stretch it up. It is a small area to work with, so just do your best. Stretch it up, reach it up to the edge, apply tack solution, and start tacking it down. Okay, once we secured this side, now we're able to stretch the film. We want to stretch the film to align to this curve here. So apply slip solution and then start stretching the film. You are gonna need to do a good amount of stretching. So just keep lifting the film and stretching it until you're able to loosen up the film here. So just do pre-stretches, basically. So make sure before you stretch, this area is tacked down and we're going to apply heat. That way we help this side tack down. So apply tack solution and heat. Okay, now we can start stretching the film. So apply slip solution, and we're just doing the pre-stretch. So make sure to pre-stretch it, lift it again, apply slip solution once again, and now you should be able to meet the edge there. So hold it in position for a bit, so that way it starts tacking down, and grab your tack solution, and start tacking it down. And then to remove any fingers that might come up, any small fingers, just apply tack solution and heat and it should go away. Okay, so the last thing to do once you finish installing all of the pieces is just post heating all around. So just apply your tack solution on each piece that we installed. And then with the heat gun and the microfiber towel, just go all around to start helping the adhesive activate faster on the film. Okay, so that concludes the installation for the headlight tints for the 2022 Hyundai Tucson. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.